we're going to talk some wrestling. It's been quite a few weeks because I kind of gave it up to talk about Big Brother a lot because, frankly, Big Brother gets views for me. But let's talk about CM Punk debuting in AEW. Uh, for anybody who's watched any of my wrestling videos, they might know I'm kind of uh, judgy on pro wrestling because I stopped watching for several years until a few months ago when I decided to pick it back up. I have been keeping up with it even though I've been doing only Big Brother videos. I've also been one who uh, has maybe been pretty negative about AEW since its inception because I don't like Tony Khan's plans or his booking, really. And I, But I have to give him his due for trying hard more so than WWE, for sure. And CM Punk coming to AEW is definitely a get to say the least. You know, there's been a debate over the past week. Was CM Punk really a mainstream star? Like comparisons to The Rock are fucking ridiculous. CM Punk was never on the level of a rock. Was CM Punk on the level of a John Cena? Honestly not, if we're talking mainstream. But CM Punk was definitely at a level within the wrestling community and because of the WWE over the years, just slowly booking like shit, there was a lot of 50-50 booking and nobody was being made into a star outside of now, maybe Roman Reigns. But because of that, the WWE viewership declined and the casual fan is no longer a thing. I consider myself a hardcore wrestling fan, but if we're being real, I see more things from a casual fan's point of view than a hardcore wrestling fan that just wants to mark out for matches. That is not me. I need substance with the stories and with the characters, not just fucking wrestling matches. But I bring all this up because CM Punk coming to AEW is huge in this wrestling audience because it's not as big as it used to be. So within the audience, CM Punk going to AEW is huge. Plus, if he could get lapsed casual fans to watch AEW, it genuinely is big. But AEW still has to put in work. And I know there's rumors of Daniel Bryan coming as well and possibly another big signing right behind that. And honestly, if we're talking on a big scale who had a bigger impact outside of wrestling i honestly think it was daniel bryan compared to cm punk because that yes chant was going everywhere at the height of daniel bryan and i still feel like cm punk was more so in wrestling than outside of wrestling plus cm punk went to ufc and got his ass kicked two times which i really think could hurt his image to casual fans. That is just facts. But I'm not going to take away from this being a big night for AEW. And they have to really keep the audience, though, that they're going to get, they're going to get eyes from CM Punk, they're going to get eyes from Daniel Bryan. But they still have to put in work to keep the audience. And on this first rampage, I don't know if they really succeeded after starting the show with CM Punk. I, for one, did not care much about Private Party versus Jurassic Express. I thought the match was subpar, and I just was not into it. Because my biggest problem with AEW is I can call literally almost every single match. And that's boring to me. Now, Jade Cargill, I think, is a star. I think she has star potential. Um... So I think Jade Cargill being on the show for the women's division is honestly a really good thing for the casual eye because Jade Gar Cargill has star written all over her. And then the main event, Moxley. I mean, Moxley obviously is star within himself. But I just don't know about that tag match for me. I don't think it was going to captivate new viewers to stick around. Just my two cents. I still think, obviously, this show is going to have a lot of eyes probably bigger than last week i mean hopefully for aw like the audience is bigger than last week's rampage because last week's rampage was honestly subpar but it's a friday night it's hard to get huge ratings on a friday um i feel like i'm rambling but 
I'm just very interested to see how AEW continues to follow up with CM Punk. They're clearly putting him in a match with Darby Allen. And then if they could follow this up with Daniel Bryan, Bryan, they have momentum going forward. And WWE still has, in my estimation, a lack of momentum. I mean, they have a momentum in the WWE just from fans being back, period. And they've tried to build up SummerSlam as a big thing, but WWE continuing to rely on people like Goldberg really continues to show the problems with WWE. And yes, CM Punk is old himself, but the he- CM Punk coming back is huge after seven years rather than bringing back Oldberg to come back every year to try and bump a rating. It's old. If I have time, maybe I will try and talk about WWE more in the future. Big Brother taking up a lot of my time, though. 